Matt from Practical BI and welcome to this Power BI quick tip video on dynamic titles in charts or visuals within Power BI and these are sometimes also called expression based titles within Power BI so um, this is where our title can change based on our selection or, or filters applied um, and the result ultimately of, of, of a measure. Okay so I'm in a report here uh, we're looking at absence data again um, another familiar example if you've watched some of the other videos here um, and what we've got is just a simple uh, bar chart I've got number of absences by division so uh, I've got um, five different divisions within the data sales HR manufacturing IT and finance um, and I've also got a slicer for city in my data as well now what I want to do is to make the visual title here so number of absences by division I want that to also include the uh, the name of the city that we've got selected within our slicer so the way that we do this um, is, uh, first of all, we have to create a measure to represent our title. So let's just go and create a measure in my measures table over here. And let's just call this um, chart title. Okay, and I'm going to say um, uh, uh, my chart title is equal to um, number, whoops, number of absences by division for and then I'm going to use my and sign to concatenate um, and we're just going to say take the selected value of city so I'm using this selected value function to give me the, the value of city that's selected so we'll just validate that and I'm going to go onto my uh, my visual my bar chart I'm going to go into format I'm going to go down to title here and I'm going to click on the little FX, the conditional formatting um, symbol next to my title. Select that and I'm going to uh, drop down. Um, I've got field value selected. Um, I'm going to change my based on field to be my chart title. I'm just going to click OK to that. What you'll see is we've now got number of absences by division for Bristol. If I select Cardiff, number of absences by division for Cardiff um, and so on and that continues to change through all of my uh, all of my selections so I hope that's been useful if it has please do like and subscribe um, and as always if you have any feedback or, or comments or questions please add them to the comments underneath this video and I look forward to speaking to you again